On the international oil market, what is most talked about is the way oil prices have fallen so sharply that many of the world's crude oil is being bought for less than one US dollar per barrel or less than 900 Rwanda francs, down from as much as $60. Finding buyers for that oil is also not easy due to the effects of the coronavirus pandemic. Professor Gustav Tombola, an economic expert, says that the shocking fall in oil prices does not necessarily mean the prices of other commodities will also reduce. In Ganda, we have to do it. Factories are not working, and when they start working, there will be high demand for their commodities and prices will go up because then they will need them. So we will not think that because oil has reduced prices, it will reduce prices in the market. No, it will be a little bit because if the industry is not working now, it will go to work. All the people who go out there will be many who need to take what they still need. If they need it in large numbers, the price will go up. It will not be due to oil alone. According to Rura, by the end of April, it will be up to the parties to decide on the price of petroleum products to meet the price changes. This change in oil prices is expected to affect petroleum products still en route because it takes about two months for them to reach the country. It was in January this year that Rura units set the price of the petrol at 1,091 Rwanda francs per litre, and for diesel at 1,084 Rwanda francs. According to the Ministry of Trade and Industry, Rwanda has about 100 million litres of storage in its warehouses. According to Alexandre Njendahima, another chief operations manager at one of Rwanda's leading petroleum companies, SP, this is good news. <laughs> Now, I would say that Rwanda is in good position because of these millions. There are other depots all over Kabuye and Gatsata, even though they are small, but I would say that 60 million, in fact, according to Africa, and those with such depots are few except for Tanzania and Kenya, and we should thank God for such storage capacities. According to the Ministry of Trade and Industry, 600 million liters of petrol and diesel are imported by Rwanda each year. But since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, the country's demand for such products has fallen by 51%. With a storage capacity of 110 million liters, the country uses up 100 million liters in four months. 60% of the storing capabilities oil producing and exporting countries have now been used due to the sudden fall in global demand.